This is Twit. Mark Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Welcome. Hey, I have two questions for you. Uh, the first one is uh, regarding hard drives. I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive that uh, it's about to fill up, and I'm looking for a two terabyte drive, uh, which I also need to use as my daily desktop drive. I'm not looking for the fastest drive, uh, but something that's very reliable. Uh, anything that you can uh, recommend in that? Hard drives have become commoditized. You know what I mean when I say commoditized? Like pork bellies mm -hmm. or soybeans. <laughs> There's yeah. not a brand of soybeans or a brand of pork bellies. They're all the same. And the technology, once technology becomes mature and, and kind of uh, well-known, becomes commoditized, too. You, routers are kind of commoditized. You, you know brand names. It's all kind of the same. And hard drives really are commoditized. If you look at your computer, your laptop, you probably don't even know who makes the hard drive inside. Having said that, those of us who buy hard drives instead of buying computers buy the part. For, we buy a lot of hard drives here for our servers. Tend to go with Western Digital. I, uh, I was actually looking uh, at Western Digital, and when, when I look at what they have, the, they seem to have color-coded uh, yes. their products. They, they have, have the blacks, the blues, the reds. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if the reds, which they're selling as NAS drives, would make uh, good desktop drives. Probably not. Um, the, the, a NAS drive is all about not speed, but just continuous. It's always on, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so the reds tend to be great at always being on. There's, you know, the black is more expensive and faster. I, I'm trying to remember what the different colors. Uh, I wish there were. There's a, also the blue and the green one. Yeah. I have a green one, which I use as a backup drive. And green uh, is a low power, as you would expect, right? That's correct, and it's slow as well. So I wanted to have something. <laughs> Well, um, let's hang on, and we'll, we got to take a break. When we come back, let's talk a little more about this. Speed right. of hard drive versus reliability. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. We're talking with Mark about hard drives. And, I, you know, I don't know. You, you hear, I think the differences between drives are small. The differences between solid-state drives and spinning drives is huge. But among spinning drives, it's small. There's a few things to look at. Rotation speed, capacity, price per gigabyte, of course. Warranty is pretty important, too, and, and the warranty on a drive that you buy in the store will tell you a little bit about what the company expects in terms of reliability for those drives. You mentioned the red. Right. So Western Digital has, I actually had to look it up. There's so many colors. and The green is eco-friendly, uh, which probably means slower. The reds are designed for fast throughput. In fact, one of our chatters, Meguro, says he uses reds in his desktop because they're fast, and cool and reliable, um, but I bet you they're slower speed. I bet they're 52. So there's 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 three different typical spinning speeds. And by the way, now that we have commonly used SSDs in many computers, the, this matters a lot less. Faster spinning is is a little faster. The slowest, the laptop drives are 5400 RPM. The uh, typical desktop drive is 7200 rpm and then if you want a really high performance drive and this is what i usually buy i buy the uh, velociraptors when I, I don't buy spinning drives anymore but when i bought spinning drives those are 10,000 rpm and you know they probably don't make that much difference in speed ssd makes such a difference but the capacities tend to be lower because the price per gigabyte is so much higher that's starting to change i don't recommend the hybrid drives that have a little bit of ssd and a little bit of spinning storage my friend Alan Malventano, who's an expert on SSDs and writes for a PC Perspective, uh, PCPer.com, has uh, had very poor results in terms of benchmarks for the hybrids. It's the worst of both worlds, not the best of both worlds. So I don't know what I would recommend. I mean, Mark, is speed important to you? Um, not so much. For me, it's really more of reliability. It's a data drive for me. Um, and like I said, I, I do have an SSD that I use as my boot drive, Perfect. as the application drive. That's exactly what you should do. So then you, so, and this is what I recommend: 128 gigabyte SSD. That's where your your Windows is, where your apps are, and then you put your documents, the big data, on a on a slower spinning drive, a, a, a terabyte or two a spare that's spinning right. drive. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Now, if you look at different reporters, uh, people who buy a lot of drives, Backblaze, according to a gummed up bear in our chat room, says Backblaze buys a lot of drives. They're a backup company. If the price were right, we'd be buying nothing but Hitachi uh, drives. The problem is that they, they tend to be more expensive. 
Uh, I think Western Digital bought Hitachi, did they not? So, but I think you can get them as Hitachi brand. They've been rock solid, have a remarkably low failure rate. My problem is that this this changes from time to time. Uh, Western Digital had a problem with firmware for a while that caused some issues. I mean, it just, I don't know if they're, it's, it's commodity in the sense that they're all kind of good and all kind of bad. So I don't, I don't know what I would recommend. You, you notice probably already if you ask five different geeks, you get five different answers. That is, that is true, yeah. And when, when I look at Amazon as well, it's like the, the ratings were kind of all over the place. Yeah. We'll put a link in the show notes to this article uh, from Backblaze. It came out in January. What hard drive should I buy? That, you know, if you're going to trust somebody, don't trust a guy who buys a drive every few years. Because any drive can go bad. Trust a, trust a company that buys hundreds of drives a day. And uh, they have a, an article in which they do say they prefer Hitachi over Western Digital and Seagate. But then, you know, I've used all of them. I don't know if there's that much difference. But uh, they say um, at the end of 2013, we had 27,000 consumer-grade drives spinning in Backblaze storage pods. About half of them were Seagate, half of them Hitachi, a small number Western Digital and a very small number, Toshiba and Samsung. And uh, part of the problem with that is that uh, they don't have enough Western Digital, they're not as many, so they can't, they're not as reliable. They used to buy Western Digital. It looks like now they're buying mostly uh, Seagate drives. So they measured failure rates. The annual failure rate is fairly high for the Seagates, is lowest for the Hitachi, if that's an important thing. I mean, what is important? Is another issue. Speed, reliability, power usage, heat generation. All of these are issues as well. So I don't know if I have a right answer for you. <laughs> right. I buy Western Digital. We buy for, uh, for our uh, storage area networks, for our computers, our editors. It's all Western Digital. All right. That okay. sounds good. And I, and I think we buy, what do we buy, John? Is it the Blacks? Or is it the blues? I can't even remember what, which one. Do you remember, John, off the top of your head? What does Russell buy? Or does he just buy whatever's, whatever's cheapest that week? It's the, the enterprise grades. The enterprise for the grades servers. for the servers, yeah. We need to because they have to be rated for the servers. They won't, they won't be accepted. Good luck. I think if you can use a, a solid-state drive, just as, just as Mark did uh, for your boot-up, boy, that makes a difference. That, that is the biggest difference in hard drive technology in the last 10 years. Solid-state.